It's finally here. Generative Remove in Lightroom Classic. Today we're going to show you how to use it. Hey there and welcome to Florin. My name is Aaron Nace. Today we're showing you this amazing new feature in Lightroom Classic. I'm so excited. I've been waiting this for a long time. It's going to be easier to use. Let's go ahead and jump right in. So we're going to start off with an image here. Let's go ahead and double click here. And as you can see, we've got some graffiti in the background, just some general distractions. We want those gone. Now, this has been really difficult to do in Lightroom Classic forever until now. Generally, we would go into Photoshop and use like historically the spot healing brush tool, Genfill and Photoshop now with AI, we can do it in Lightroom. So we're going to go up here, the develop module right there. You want to go to your remove icon right over here on the right. And you can see we have remove and generative AI is checked. That's all you need to know. Now you can change your brush size and opacity right here. And you can also use the open and close brackets on your keyboard. This is so easy. All you have to do is just simply paint over where you would like to remove. So we're just going to simply paint over here. And you really don't even have to be like that accurate. If we're being honest, just kind of like paint over this area. Fantastic. And we're going to do a couple like areas at a time. So we're going to go ahead and get that. Now, all you have to do where it says mask refinement, you can add, you can subtract to this, you can increase your brush size. We're just going to hit apply. Okay. And you can see here, generator remove is generating now. This is amazing to have this in Lightroom. Honestly, Lightroom is so powerful now. It's like you kind of don't even need Photoshop almost. Don't tell anyone I said that, but it's really, really good. So you can just go through here, variations, and choose different variations, just like in Photoshop. And then if you want more stuff removed, I'm going to make my brush a little bit larger by using the open and close bracket. Look at this. I can just go ahead and paint down here and remove this. And if I'm being honest, I actually feel like the gen remove in Lightroom is a little bit more intuitive than it is in Photoshop. Because here, literally all you have to do is paint over what you want. You don't have to worry about selections or anything like that. You're literally just painting, hit apply, and it's gone. So you can see right over here. You can hit command plus a couple times and zoom in, hold the space bar down. There we go. Now, let's say you do like, whoops, I painted over my subject's face. Okay, something like that. Well, all you have to do is where it says mask refinement, click on subtract. Okay, and then you just subtract it out from where you don't want Genfill to do anything, right? So we're just going to say, all right, leave his, leave his hat, leave all of that behind. There we go. We can click on apply. And here you can see generative remove is doing its thing. All right. We just got one more space to do. You know, sometimes we don't want to necessarily see like a logo on a hat. There we go. Let's just gen fill this little area right there where I missed. We can go ahead and get rid of that logo at the same time. And then, you know what? We're going to do this. Let's just hit command minus. We're going to get rid of all this graffiti just i wanted to show you that you can actually select like a bunch of different areas and remove them keep in mind that the more areas you select let's hit apply right over here the more areas you're going to select it's going to take a little bit longer for generative remove to work as you can see here it's just taking a little bit longer but it's still incredibly fast and works very very well i love generative remove in lightroom classic boy this is an absolute game changer okay you can see it's almost done there and yeah, that's it. We have our variations. You can just click through them until you find something that works perfectly. And then here in the history, let's go back up to fit view right over here. Here in our history, you can see all of my history. So I can go back all the way to where we brought this in. So look at all this stuff in the background, super distracting. Here's this in the foreground, like huge, huge difference. We got a couple more examples. Like let's say we go to this example, our subject looks great but we got all these telephone wires and stuff like that in the background. We'll go to develop again, go to your remove generative AI. It's already on the brush and simply paint over this. And this is kind of cool because what we're going to do is we're just going to do them all. I'm going to hit command plus a couple times, hold down the space bar and we can just navigate over here. You can just get all these like in the same, in the same go, you know, so I'm just going to pretty much paint over all these, you know, telephone wires in the back. What are they, telephone poles, light poles? I don't know what they are. Uh, you know, they're just going to get easier and easier to select out the further we go. There we go. This is like used to be really tedious work to do. You know, you'd have to go into Photoshop and then you could use Genfill in Photoshop. Previous to that, you'd have to use like the clone stamp tool and stuff. But now it's like, boom, you just hit apply. Again, I selected a lot of different areas here. 
So it's gonna take a little bit longer for this to generate. Like if you only select one area, it does it really, really quick. Keep in mind, it's like literally sending this patch, you know, to Genfill, and it's gonna send that patch to Genfill and this one and this one. So it's kind of like all of those are like kind of individual requests here. But as we can see, it's still like, boom, it, it's so, so good. There's no excuse to not get rid of distractions anymore. <laughs> it's, it's just so easy to do. I absolutely love this. All right, look at that, what? All right, let's go up here to the view and click on fit. Oh my God, before and after, like what? I mean, that was like literally no work. Here we have a clean portrait, nothing in the background. All right, we got one more example here. We're gonna do, we got our subject. This is just this little house, this little cabin in the background. We're gonna click on develop and we're gonna go same tools, right? So let's just make a rush a little bit bigger. Now I will say the one thing in Photoshop that you can do is you can you can still tell it what you want. Like if, it, if in Photoshop, for instance, I wanted like trees in the background or something like that, I can select an area and type in trees and Photoshop would add those trees. So this is just removing. You're not gonna be able to type in prompts and tell it what you want. Maybe that's gonna come in the future. But for now, it's literally just object removal. But as you can see, like, I mean, what? Just, is it's just too easy and, and too good to do it. So this is with the brand new release of Lightroom Classic. If you haven't done so already, just be sure to update to the newest version of Lightroom Classic. You can do that through your Creative Cloud installer. This is now available to everyone. Let me know what you think of this new feature. Obviously you can tell I'm super excited about it. It's a total game changer and uh, <laughs> boom. Really not much need to use Photoshop anymore. So kind of kind of crazy. What do you guys think? Are you still gonna be using Photoshop after this? Uh, I wanna know. Let me know in a comment down below. Thanks so much and I will learn you later. Bye everyone.